Hello everybody, this is Vasavi from At Home. I'm here with few more harder problems in finding out the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression. So let's just start with the first one. The first term of an AP is 5. So just write as you know the values they have given. You can write it immediately like it is 5. And then uh, the last term is given as 45. So the last term I take it as AN. Okay. So AN is given as 45. And also they have given the sum. Sum is SN. Uh, because we don't know what how many terms you have. Right. So I just take it as SN. And that is equal to 400. Okay. So I have written all that has been given. Now find the number of terms and the common difference. So you know, need to know the n, right? Since we don't know the common difference and n, we are going to find out those two, okay? So what, what I do here is, uh, I just start with the sum formula. That is, we know the sum of n terms is equal to n over 2 times the first term here the first term and the last term is given first term is 5 and the last term is 45 so you can use that formula so actually it is a plus for the first term plus the last term right so this formula i'm using here to find out n and so i get here this is equal to 400 they say sn is 400 so let me plug in the values here so n we don't know i keep it as it is times 2 equals 5 plus 45 right and that is equal to 400 that's what they have said okay now that means you have n over over 2 times 50 5 plus 45 is 50 equals 400 so i'm going to multiply throughout by 2 and divide throughout by 50 to get rid of the 2 and 50 from my left side. Okay. So I would just have n equals 400. And the 50 comes down. And this 2 goes up. Okay. So the answer would be like 50 would go here 8 times. Right. So 8 times 2 is 16. So we have got our n as 16, okay? So one part of the question has been done. We got the n. Now you need to find the common difference. So to find the common difference, I think we can use the last term formula. That would be easier, okay? So we know the last term is equal to a n is equal to 45, right? And you know the formula of a n. a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d, right? n minus 1 d equals 45. Here, whatever you know, you plug in. We know the a. a is 5, right? Sorry. So, you just take 5 plus n is 16. So, that's 16 minus 1 here, okay? And you need to find d. d is what we need to find. So I just put the D as it is and that is equal to 45. I can first take the 5 to the other side. So I get 15 D equals when it goes to the other side it becomes 40 right. I subtract 5 from both the sides. Okay. So now your D would be 40 over 15. Okay. So that's that is 8 over 3. You can also say your common difference is 2, 2 thirds. Okay. I've got my N and I've got my D now. Let's move on to the next problem. Here this is a bit, it looks as if it is simple but you have to do more here. Uh, okay, now let's start with this. Here your sum is given. So I start with that. S9 equals 75. That's what is given, right? So what is S9? S9 should be N9 over 2 times 2A. 2A, we don't know the A, so I just write it as it is. Plus, this is 9 minus 1, right? 
9 minus 1 d d is given as 5 so that is also is given so i just plug in the 5 here and this should be equal to 75 right solve for a now so this would be i take the 9 uh, and 2 to the other side so here i will have 2a plus 8 times 5 is 40 right is equal to 75 times 2 over 9 so this goes in 3 right this goes 3 times here it is 25 times so you get 50 over 3 here 50 over 3 okay now uh, your 2a is equal to 50 over 3 take away 40 right the 40 comes to this side so what happens just take the LCM so make the denominator same so you have to multiply both by 3 right so you get 2a is equal to here it is 50 minus 120 over 3 okay so your a will be equals to this is minus 70 over 3 divided by 2 so that will give you minus 70 over 6 or you can simplify this further right this will be 35 times so that that will give you okay I'll scratch this out so I get a equals minus 35 over 3 okay now we have just got the a this is your a you need to find the a n right in the ninth term so i just do that here now since you know a n and d you can straight away find out this a n a 9 is equal to uh, a a a plus a d right and you know what is your a your a is just now we got minus 35 over 3 plus 8d 8 times d is 5 so that's 40 again as, as i said i told you you can make the denominators equal to 3 the same make the denominator same so you would be having minus 35 plus 120 over 3 right so your a9 the ninth term is equal to you have to subtract this you get 85 over 3 if you want you can make it improper fraction or you can stop with this you can write it as decimal all is left to you okay so this part is done now let's move on to the next question here the sum of 700 is rupees is to be used to give seven cash prizes to the students of a school for their overall academic performance if each prize is rupees 20 less than its preceding price find the value of each of the prizes okay so we know that the sum is 700 and uh, it is going to be 20 less so than the preceding price so that means your d so what we know is and it is for seven cash prizes so all this let me mark so you have your n is seven so and then you they say s s seven that is sn right the total sum is 700 rupees okay and then you also know the d d is equal to minus 20 okay they say it is reducing right it is Mm, uh, 20 less than the preceding so that means it is minus your progression is uh, is coming down so it is minus okay so let's plug in in this you know s7 equals 700 right so just expand s7 s7 is 7 over 2 times 2 times a we don't know what is a so let it be as it is plus 7 minus 1 d 7 minus 1 
and the D is minus 20. Okay. This is equal to 700. So I'm just taking my 7 over 2 to the other side. So here I'll be left with 2A plus um, 6 times minus 20, right? Equals 700 times 2 over 7, right? So I would get 2A minus 120 equals the 7 would go here 100 times so that will give you 200 okay so the 120 when it goes to the other side it becomes 2a equals 200 plus 120 right plus 120 so that is 320 so your a is 320 divided by so that's 160. So we know what is the first term. So the cash price will be uh, in this, the AP will be like this. First term is 160. You keep reducing because they say common difference is minus 20. So that keeps reducing. So it becomes like this and 40. So I think 7, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. So the cash price given to the students, 7 students are in this order. Okay. Fine. The next sum. A spiral is made up of successive semicircles with centers alternately at A and B starting with the center at A of radii uh, 0 0.25. So the R is given here. The arithmetic progression of R is given. What is the total length of the spiral, of spiral made up of? Uh, 13 consecutive semicircles, right? Okay. So here it is consecutive semicircles. So you are just making, with each radius you are making only half circle, semicircle. Because it is only semicircle. So half the circumference. So for a circle, the circumference is 2 pi r and when they say half of it divide by 2, so you get pi r, okay? Now let me make the new arithmetic progression. The arithmetic progression will be the uh, circumference of the first circle would be mm -hmm. pi times 0 0.5, right? So I can write it as 0 0.5 pi. And here it is 5 times 1. So that's 5 times 1.5. Likewise it goes, the arithmetic progression goes. I put it in a right way. So that's, this is your arithmetic progression. 2 pi, likewise it keeps going. Okay. Now let's find the D. We know the first term. You need to find the D. Okay. So your D is, you can see, it is 0 0.5 pi, right? And your A is also 0 0.5 pi. So you need to find what? The sum, right? Sum of 13 consecutive circles you have, semicircles you have. So N is 13. So I just put 13 over 2. I, I just plug in the value in the formula. 13, here I, I write the formula again. Your Sn is equal to N over 2 times 2A. Since you don't know the last term, you just take it as this. Okay. So let me plug in the value. So 2 times and your A is 0 0.5 pi plus N minus 1. N minus 1 is 13 minus 1. And the D is 0 0.5 pi okay so that would be 13 over 2 times this is pi plus here it is 12 right 12 times 0.5 is 6 pi so that would be 13 over 2 times 7 pi in the question it is given they have asked you to take the pi value as 
22 over 7. So I just do that. 13 over 2 times 7 times the pi value. They've asked you to take it as 22 over 7 in the question. Okay. So 7 and 7 will get cancelled. This and this will get cancelled. Yeah, you got the answer as 143. And it would, since it is the perimeter, I just put it as centimeters. Okay. Now here, this question looks too hard. But actually, if you really understand this, it is very easy. I'll read the question first. In a potato race, a bucket is placed at the starting point. Here it is. And which is 5 meters away from the first uh, potato. Okay. And other potatoes are placed 3 meters apart. So the distance is 3 meters apart. So this will be your D, right? Common difference. And the first potato is 5 meters. So, okay. And now the twist is here. A competitor starts from the bucket, picks up the nearest potato, runs back with it and drops it in the bucket. Runs back to pick up the next potato, runs to the bucket to drop in it. And she continues. So what she is doing is, first she runs from the bucket to the to 5 meters apart and take the uh, uh, potato, bring it back and put it here. Again she moves. So actually since the distance between the points is like this. So if this is 5 meters apart, okay, this is 5. So this should be 8, right? 3 meters away. Then it should be 11. Then it should be 14. And it goes like this. 17. 3 meters away, right? So it goes like this. But actual arithmetic progression you have to do is every time she runs up and down, right? So uh, instead of 5 meters, she is running up and down 10 meters. So your AP would be 10 meters and even for 8 double up the value so that's 16 22 28 and the last one is 34 so this is your AP now you know A, A is 5 and then you know how many meters apart it is so that's your D is a positive 3 they've given you 10 potatoes so your N is 10 okay this is fine. You have to find SN. That's all. So your SN or I can just directly write S10 is equal to. It is 10 over 5, right? N by 5 is 10 over 5 times 2A. So 2 times 5 plus N minus 1. So that's 10 minus 1. D. D is 3 here. Okay. So that would be 2 10 plus 27, right? So that will give you 2 times 37 and hence it would be like, sorry I have made a mistake here. I think we didn't notice. Here it is n by 2, right? So this should be 5 here. And this is also 5, 3, 185. Okay? You got it sum as 185. Only this much is asked, right? What is the total distance the competitor has to run? Yeah, only that much is asked. So you're done with your answer. I hope this video was useful to you. Just learn the formula well and understand what the problem has given. And uh, whatever values they've given, you just note down that first. Then identify what you have to find out and then you write the formula to find out that value and see what is missing and try to find out those missing terms and then come back to the formula and finish it off. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye.